All right, you beautiful motherfuckers. I brought on the legend himself. Josh Nelson is here, the seven-figure agency man himself, who is, uh, besides having a really cool seven-figure HVAC agency, is also somebody who I think has probably made the most impact of any agency coach or mentor in the space. And, uh, you know, he knows his shit if I agree with him, right? Like, so <laughs> that's the best stuff. So I brought on Josh here. Firstly, obviously, Josh, welcome. Thanks for being here. I know you're a busy man. Thank you for time. having me. I appreciate it. Glad to be here. Um, so I want to talk to you about retention because, you know, one of the things that, I, that I'm really big on is most people don't realize that retention is the most important number in your agency, not sales. Sales is number two, but a lot of people think as long as I have sales, everything will fix itself. And that sounds all good until you actually get a bunch of sales and then lose clients as fast as you get them, uh, which I'm sure you've done at some point as well when you're figuring out the delivery side of things. And I want one of the things that we've kind of talked about before is how important the awesome wow first impression is, and you have one of the best in the business. So I wonder if you could kind of show people your big box of stuff that you have and how that fits in. Yeah. So I've, I've got this box, which is something we drop in the mail and, and send out predominantly because it makes a, an impressive first impression, right? How many of us bring on an agency client at 2000 to 3000 to $5,000 per month. And then all they get is emails and like phone calls and zoom sessions they don't get anything physical. They don't get anything tangible. And so um, we went to this model where they get they get something in the mail like in the first couple of days, which yeah. is more like a goodie basket, which is we, we use gourmet gift baskets. I know you use Sherry's Berries, I think it was. I'm, I'm uh, the edible arrangement guy. I'm edible a... arrangements. Yeah. So something they're going to get like that they can eat and consume for themselves. Uh, we send this. It's more of a branded welcome kit. Um, and we have this printed through Pack Lane. You know, this box all in is probably about $75 per box. Um, and it's it's just so they get something physical and impressive. Before you in open that, first... Josh, and ruin all the, the good surprise, can I just highlight the, the word on the side there? Because I think that's the most important thing that agencies miss is that with a single word right there. Yeah, it's before you get into like, give me your Facebook ad account or let me, you know, get your logins. There, I think there's a step most people miss, which is, actually welcoming a client, making them reaffirm that like, hey, you just made a really smart decision working with us and feeling good about the decision, which they would normally go into some kind of buyer's remorse having made a mistake. So I love the welcome word. Sorry, I'm building up the dramatic buildup, but go ahead, my man, show us what's inside. No, 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 you want me to, you want me to open it up? Yes, please, because I think this would inspire so many people to understand like what the real job is. It's like you're creating a wow client experience, not just Hey, we're going to build you some backlinks and rank your website or, you know, run some paid ads or fix your website as most people are doing. But there's an actual like they feel good about their choice because, you know, there's goodies in the mail. Like there's always a surprise. 100 percent. It's the things they're not expecting, the things above and beyond, like the normal situation that always has the biggest impact. And so, yeah, you have to provide great service. You've got to be able to deliver what it is that you just sold. But if you combine that with some experiential stuff your retention is just going to be all the all the better. Yeah, 100%. All right, my man, let's see. All right, so inside the box, you could be pretty creative. We just kind of we put in some chotskis and things like that. So hard to open this. But basically, if you open this up, there's a Columbia well, and HVAC SEO t-shirt, which, you know, there's some debate. Does anybody really want to wear your branded, you know, agency shirt? Um, we get people that take pictures with it and load themselves up all the time. And so, you know, a little bit logistic challenging, right? You got to make sure you get on your onboard form, what size t-shirt they wear. Um, and you've got to stock all these different sizes, but that's, that's a good thing to add. Um, little, uh, sticker to put a little, uh, hand sanitizer in there matches the nice. branding that was specifically, you know, you know, added for the COVID stuff, a little welcome to the team, you know, excited about working with you message there. Um, we've got, our branded mug. And so this is more the like branded stuff we want them to have on their desk or we want yeah. them to have front and center. And then, you know, the, the you know, stuff that's more for them would be gifts that you get uh, in other ways. So then the other main thing is we've got our book, which kind of restates the value. Like, look, you're in good hands with our company, right? We've, we've wrote the book on internet marketing for plumbing and HVAC contractors. Yeah. Um, and so you've got the book, so you've got it and you can put it on the shelf and you know, what's going on. And then we've got two other things in here that I'll showcase. 
hopefully I'm not going too into detail on this. Uh, Frankie, but this is fantastic, Josh. I'm so appreciative that you're sharing this. We've got like just a pad folio that they can write notes in. This is just something that's high value. It's like, okay, that's cool. I can take notes in here. And then we've got this welcome pamphlet that we send. And this, this just kind of lays the foundation for what they can expect in their relationship with us. Yeah. So it's like, welcome aboard. Here's the plan. Here's what's going to happen. Here's the team that's going to be working with you. And here's the the roadmap over the first 90 days, um, kind of the engine that we're going to roll out for them, our process, our digital dominance method. Um, and so how many people ever read this? I don't know, probably none. But there's something powerful about get, getting something physical in the mail that feels like, man, this was well thought through. These yeah. guys have this on lock and they're going to at least give us 30 days to implement the the initial part of what we do. Um, and then what we're really focused on is what quick wins can we roll out in that first 30 days? So they're like, okay, I had this great sales process. I received this cool package in the mail. I got these goodies. Um, and now I'm getting results already, right? It's like it's experientially good. And I'm already starting to see some leads or I'm starting to see some opportunities come in as a function of this relationship. That is huge, my man. You know, actually, it, it's funny, too, because you mentioned like a lot of that is a visual representation of restating expectations, which I think is equally important. And I remember a couple of lawyers had something very similar to what you had, which kind of inspired our package where they said, you know, we just got the same questions over and over and over. So we decided to, to draw a visual roadmap of, you know, how it's going to. And they said as soon as they put that in, like the questions dropped 90 percent overnight. And uh, you've done a wonderful job of just building it. I wonder if you could just talk a little bit, because I know from doing this, a lot of people think, well, that cost me a hundred bucks and that eats into my profits. But where you really see the profits are, I think most agency owners, as best I can tell, like three, four months, that's how long their clients stay. And then whatever reason they move on. Um, in your case, like you're experiencing a retention. And I, I think uh, the number that I shoot for as a minimum is that each client stays at least two years. Um, yeah. But I'd love to hear your thoughts on how that translates to kind of things that come later, because you don't immediately see the return on investment when you send a hundred dollar box and some goodies out the door. But, you know, something's coming. So there's there's an effect that happens later. Yeah, I think what what happens in the first. The first week will really determine whether they're with you a year down the road, right, how you really map out that onboarding experience has a huge impact. Um, it also comes back to you in, in referrals, right? They're more likely to talk about. The, the agency they just signed up with that sent them this box and did all of these cool things and has this great process engineered, then, you know, if you just sign up to fill out this form and like, well, we're going to go radio silent on you. And eventually, hopefully you're going to get some results from this. Experience. In 30 days, we'll send you a report that you don't understand. Right. Anyway. An automatic report from agency analytics. Or something. <laughs> this looks really pretty, but what does any of this mean? That's what I used to get on that. Um, yep. Cool, Josh. I won't keep you. I so, so appreciate you sharing the big box of stuff. For those of you guys, by the way, I don't know if you have a, a pre-author copy, but Josh just wrote a new book on retaining clients. I'm exactly two chapters in. And having done this for 15 years, I found myself nodding along and still getting new insights out of it, which is damn impressive in and of itself. Uh, I wonder if you could just tell people release date, details, when they get it on Amazon, all that good stuff. It'll be a. It's available for pre-order from Kindle right now. If you just go to Amazon and you search um, "client retention handbook," it comes up there. Um, I'll get you a link, Frankie, where they can. If you go get the ninety-nine cent pre-release copy, we'll send you the the PDF with the manuscript in advance. That way, you get the best of both worlds. Yeah, don't sleep on that because Josh and I were talking for a second a little bit off the air, and I think most agency owners get this backwards because the number one metric in your agency is retention. And number two is sales. And a lot of people get that backwards. They think, so long as I have sales, everything will map out. But if you don't have like a beautifully engineered process, then what'll happen is you'll just burn your reputation at a really fast speed. Ask me how I know. And, <laughs> and I'm sure Josh knows from a few yes. you know, hard learned lessons as well. So definitely, definitely hundred percent check that book out and, and help a brother out, give him a review so that he can, uh, you know, get it in more hands because we need more retention in our industry in general. We need we need more great agency experiences because, you know, I, I, one of the first things I always say to lawyers is, you know, the only people who have a worse reputation than you is is us, right? <laughs> like marketers. 
The only people who are hated more than lawyers are marketers. And I, I would love to see yeah. that change. And a lot of it are these little touches and extras you've talked about, the things they don't expect and that you come up in referral conversation. So that's all I got for you guys. We'll put a link below. Thank you again, Josh, so much for doing this. My pleasure. Thanks for having me.